Hello and welcome, it's Jane Comedy White here and you're with me at Rocking at the Movies and today we are going to be doing the second upload of another Jamie Campbell Bauer from Comic-Con Africa. Absolutely fantastic. Not going to waste any more time. I hope that you enjoy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and keep a lookout for more. Sunday through, they did. I know, they, they came early. Like as soon as I got to the stage, there were people already here. Bless, bless. I'm so impressed. I'd still be in bed. <laughs> but we're glad you're not. How are you? Good. I mean, we both experienced, we both were very fortunate to experience the lovely uh, load shedding last night. To experience that. We, we thought we were immune because we were at a fancy hotel, but y'all didn't let us down. You gotta let us down. It was kind of nice. My phone like got out of battery. I was like, this is cool. I'm good with this. No, I said you you came with somebody, so you weren't alone in your room like I was. You're having a spooky time in the dark. Oh, <laughs> so uh, how was your uh, your time been here in South Africa meeting the fans? Well, it's been amazing, honestly. Like I, I have had the most lovely three days, well two days, day three here, um, meeting everyone. You know, the show means so much to so many people, and to be a small cog in that big wheel, and to meet the people. And to make it possible for me, that's um, a real blessing. So, thank you all for being really kind. And now, this is, this is what they don't know about themselves. Now, I've, I've learned this through being at this convention is that they have the biggest imposter syndrome. They don't believe they're a real Comic Con. They're like, oh no, they're better in the United States, but we've been to the ones there. This is legit. No, you guys are amazing here. It's huge. It's tremendous. So they had as many people yesterday yeah. as they have in two days in San Diego Valley. And there you go, there you go. Absolutely. So, so y'all got the real deal, which is why we're here. So, uh, what do you want to talk about today? Oh, I don't know, space, time, you know, the ever-ending, you know, the never-ending expansion of life. I don't know. Well, <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of time, we know that you spent a lot of time in the makeup chair. Yes, So, uh, I'm sure everybody wants to know, uh, besides, yesterday we talked about your collage of terror yes. to become the character. Yeah. What did it take to physically become the character of Venom? It took five men <laughs> uh, from Barry Gower's team in London. So we had Barry Gower, who I'm sure some of you, if not all of you, will know of. Duncan Jarman as well, who's amazing. Mike McCash, uh, Oak Nix, and Eric Garcia. Um, and I would get in at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and then they'd just be sticking stuff on me for like seven hours. So I couldn't stay in one position. I had to sit down, stand up, lie on my front. I'm, I'm sure you've all probably seen the like time lapse video. So yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of, it's a lot of movement, which is great. Uh, we listen to like very heavy rock music. Sometimes I'd have spooky movies playing, you know, as well. Um, but we really became a team, you know. It, those sort of seven hours by the end of it just became very seamless. And the other thing they, they started to do was like recognize the models that I have on my body. So they would like glue the pieces onto where the specific molds are so my body became like a map. Them, which was kind of interesting. I felt a bit used, but that's okay. <laughs> so, were you paid during that time that you had the makeup of mine? How did that work? <laughs> I, was, I, I got paid per episode, but they did, okay. they, they did, they did ply me with coffee. Okay. And, you know, like, <laughs> the AD of mine is so great, and I, and I know a few of them. There's, a, there's an amazing AD called Brit. Who I worked with in Twilight. Who now works with, who now works with Stranger Things, and she was so sweet. You know, she'd always make sure somebody was coming in to see if I was, you know, sufficiently caffeinated. Um, and you know, they, they just, it was, they just sort of just tried to keep me as happy as possible, basically. So we didn't touch on that much yesterday, but as a musician, we're yeah. going to ask you one of the hardest questions you can ever be asked. You can only listen to one song. For the rest of your life, what would that one song be? One song for the rest of my life. 
as Jake, not as a character, as you, what's your, what's that one song? Oh, man. What is the one song that makes me... You got the Thunder Rolls. You know that song? Garth Brooks. Yeah, Garth Brooks. Oh. I love that song. That's so a great song. That's not what I expected. Yeah, I, 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 it's just, it's very sad. It's really spooky and sad and sounds amazing. So, at the moment it'd be Garth Brooks, but if I chose it, come back to me in 10 years he, time. He's someone you need to see live. Yeah, I'd love to. He's a show. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't get his music on Apple as well. No. Anyway. Yeah. But if you ask him for it, like if you email us and they would be sent by my music, we'd be like, yeah, sure, bro. Really? Nicest guy. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm down. I'm do yeah. that. Sorry. I'm going to eat you off first. Let's do it. Pass me. I'll, 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 I'll pass you his own. See? Seriously. Let's go. Oh, wow. My song is Ain't No Not Hide. Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do something we haven't done yet. We're actually gonna go to the audience for some questions. Amazing. He's terrifying, but he's gonna go out there. Be a good people. I did a QA with him already this morning. He's been with his girl for 13 years. Hey, are you married? Not yet. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> he said something about a diamond this morning, and I was like, it's Africa, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> I said, but she'd take, a, she'd take like a potato chip at this point. <laughs> Yes. Very good. Very good. That's good. That's good. Right. Do it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did someone tell you what the radio scene actually means? Yes. Yeah, but I still, I'm still going with the fact that I think it's the bum cheeks. I'm just, I know it's not. I know, I know. I know, but I'm going to stick with it. For me, it feels sweeter. So I, I, I'm going to stay with that. Aww, what a strange you, thing for everyone to be into. <laughs> Thank you for your question. So now I'm just purposely sending him the furthest places he can. question you just asked, you know, you're going to divide rooms here. For me, personally, I'm not saying for everybody else, but for me personally, pineapple can stay in pineapple. Yeah! You're welcome. You're welcome. I assume we're on the same team. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, no money. When you follow money, you're fucked. 
you're really honestly it's so hard. Like in the creative arts, you're you're really screwed. Like follow follow the passion and that will take you to exactly where you need to be. One right thing at a time will take you to the precise place. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have one. 
My next one, I was thinking about getting Vecna, like tattooed on my leg. I saw that. Could be too dull. But thank you for your question. You're welcome. Here we are. Hello. Lily? Hi, Lily! <laughs> Everyone say hi! Hi! hi. <laughs> there we go. You're going to be the best friend ever now. You're going to climb over people right now. They're coming to you. I love it. Hi, Jamie. I want to ask, you played some of like the greatest fantasy and even historical figures like Kate Marrow. Um, is there a character that you really dying to play, that you really want to play in your career? Interesting question. Thank you so much for bringing uh, Kit into the conversation here. I loved playing Kit so much. That was so much fun. Um, is there a historical figure that I would love to play? It's a very interesting question. I wouldn't say that there's necessarily a historical figure that at the moment is like percolating through the mind that I'm chasing. Um, I have a story that I really, really... Where are people? Where are you? There you are, sorry. I'm, my eyes are so bad this morning. Um, I have a story in my mind that I'm working on that is a story that I really, really, really want to tell. Um, I don't want to give too much away about what the story is, but ultimately it's about the freedom and power to be yourself, but set in a very, very dark world. Um, that's kind of the thing that's just like in my mind constantly at the moment. Um, but no, there's not one specific narrative that I think I'm chasing right now. If they come along, then maybe. I mean, I don't know. Like a lot of people recently have spoken about maybe Scarecrow. That might be kind of fun. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. The story that I'm after is the story that I've got in my head right now. So I got one for you. Yeah. As a musician, you could be in any musical. What musical? I love to play Alphabet in Wicked. I love that musical so much. It's so good. I like bashing my feet around. It's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you know what else I went to go see um, last year? Was that movie Bell? Did you see Bell? Damn, that film is so good. Like the music in that's just amazing. Um, but yeah, Alphabet. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, major. Thank you so much. Seven ages. Hi, Jamie. Hello. Um, so I have a question. So while filming Strange Things, you obviously had like, a lot of, I'm um, assuming, green screens to like give the upside down. But how would you prepare yourself to be in the upside down? Because it's quite like an intense place. <laughs> well, like, I when I think <laughs> When I first got the job, when I was preparing for it, there was a period of time, forgive me everyone, there was a period of time where I wanted to see if I could sleep upside down like a bat. <laughs> they were asking for like two weeks, I was like googling like how can I, do, can I set anything up like in my home? It never happened. Um, but I'll, I'll answer this in two parts. So we didn't actually have that much.